On this week's show, Liberty athletes land All-America honors at track and field nationals. Plus, the story of the Stone family who found athletic success and much more at LU. Plus, we celebrate Father's Day with a heartwarming surprise for the Liberty football staff. You're watching Flame Central, and it starts now. Get your Kleenex box ready because we have a Father's Day video yeah. that will stir up all of your emotions. <laughs> Welcome into our Flame Central studios. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Emily and he's Matt. Yeah, on today's show, we'll have you crying and then have you crying laughing when two Liberty head coaches deliver some classic dad jokes. It's all in honor of Father's Day. But first, we start with Liberty Track and Field and those six Liberty athletes who were on the biggest and brightest stage at Nationals in Eugene, Oregon. An incredible accomplishment in itself. Yeah. Let's highlight the Lady Flames first. Super senior Callie Doan finished 10th in the steeplechase, clocking Matt yet again a program record of 9 minutes, 49 seconds. Doan closes out her career at Liberty with her third All-America honor. Freshman Katie Irvine also became an All-American, landing 10th in the women's pole vault. She cleared 14 feet, 1.25 inches, matching her personal best and Liberty freshman record. Irvine becomes the first Lady Flame ever to become an All-American in Liberty track and field as a freshman. Paola Bueno finished 11th in the women's hammer. She set a new program record by more than two feet, measuring 211 feet. Four inches. And finally, six-year senior Mackenzie Mazzara ended her collegiate career, placing 24th in the women's triple jump. On the men's side, you have John Hicks, who ended his time at Liberty by coming in 18th place in the men's hammer. On his final attempt, he reached 218 feet, three inches. Last but not least, Ben Sugart's best throw was 216 feet, five inches which was good for 21st place in the men's javelin. Earlier this week, we caught up with Callie Doan to talk about the experience at the NCAA championship meet. I think it was special having uh, more people to cheer, uh, cheer me on. And since it was my last time, I savor each race now wearing a Liberty jersey. That was special knowing, OK, I'm at the national stage wearing Liberty one of the last few times. And I think it just shows that the program is improving as a whole. When there's a whole group, it feels more like this is the standard, this is normal. And, you know, mutually supporting each other um, with the same goals made the experience a lot more special. Congrats to all of those track and field athletes. Well, Jamie Chadwell is best known for being Liberty's head football coach, but another title he holds is that of dad. But it's not only him, the majority of his staff they're also dads. So with it being Father's Day weekend, we decided to surprise the staff with a special video of their kids discussing what Father's Day means to them. So I, I don't know what's going on right now. So they're, they're doing something here, so. We have a little video. Oh, okay, we got a video. Father's Day is special to me because my dad has done a lot for me. I think it celebrates everything my dad does for me and our family and his sacrifices that he goes through for us. Lights, camera, action. My name is Zoya Marion Lovenway and my dad's name is Elias Lovenway. My name is DJ and this is Langston. My name is Rose Waits, and my dad's name is Dino or Denaris Waits. Denaris. My name's Kayla. My dad's name is Jamie Chadwell. Uh, Daddy. My dad's name is uh, Chad Scott. We call him Dad, but his name is Tony. My name is Titus. My dad's name is Dino Denaris Waits. My name is Ariana, and my dad's name is Chad Scott. Dax McGee, and my dad's name is Dax. We are coach Harris's daughters. My dad's name is Elias Silver Lovelorn. I'm Jameson Chadwell. My dad's Jamie Chadwell. What does your dad do for a job? <laughs> Papa. He works at Liberty. He coaches players. He recruits players. He uh, makes them grow physically and spiritually. He is a head coach of Liberty University. 
a really good football coach. Oh, he's the best one out there. Like, no competition. Oh my God. Does sports medicine um, for football. Sometimes he like says stuff and he doesn't know like that the big screen is on him and he's like, oh, Coach Brad, he's always like, hey, buddy, <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> and it's funny. He's a strength coach for Liberty University. He comes home at when it's dark outside. Well, he doesn't care about what any other people think that what play he should put on. Describe your dad. What are some of his qualities? So he is very, very funny. He's sarcastic. He is crazy. And he's a hard worker. Very smart. Well, obviously he's loving, he cares about his family. He's funny so, sometimes. And he's not and he's not scared to go out in public and do things that might seem embarrassing to other people. He likes jokes. Uh, uh, he has a beard. He's crazy, funny, and loving. He has a good personality and he's just like sometimes his dance moves aren't very good. But it's okay, he tries. Strong. Compassionate, caring, giving, forgiving, and loving, and always giving time to us when you had no time. Nice, very kind, and he does everything for us. And what makes your dad so special? Uh, make sure we're safe. He just like, cheers me up. Well, he's the bravest person I know. I think our relationship is really like, really built on like joy and loving each other's presence. Love. I like to go to the first place. I love my dad because he's always so supportive of everyone in our family and he always wants to help out around the house or do stuff with us. I like um, that my dad pushes me to do hard things or things I don't want to. He cares about me. Plays with me. He even makes me feel happy when he comes home and stuff. I like to play on the trampoline with Daddy and go fishing. He cares about me and he loves me. He's a really good cook. He cooks really good steak, just not really eggs. I don't like his eggs that much. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I just like spending time with my dad. Any day's a good day when I get to spend time with dad. I love my dad because he's so hardworking and he always makes a drive back for our family. Just being present, thank you so much for um, not hesitating whenever I need help. I love my dad, he is very special to me and he helped me with my bike and he helped me with my homework. He doesn't complain that much and he always has a good attitude about everything and he loves the Lord and he does everything for Jesus. Well, just cause like, He's my dad and he like means the world to me. And I just like love him. I love watching sports with him, being able to talk with him. I remember him teaching me how to throw. Man, those one-on-one -on -one basketball games, I know you uh, have a version of how they went <laughs> and how it ended. He is, um, he really is uh, a really great dad, yeah. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you so much. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. I love you. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you, Dad. Bye. Bye-bye. Happy Father's Day. I hope you have the best day ever. Happy Father's Day. Love you. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Love you. You're the best daddy in the world. Bye. Love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you, and I look forward to beating you this summer at NCAA 25. Uh, have a good Father's Day. Dad, I love you. Thanks for being my dad. Happy Father's Day. Dad, I love you. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Hope you have a great day, and thanks for being an amazing dad. Dad, thank you for being a great dad, and I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, and I love you, Dad. We love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you. We like that this month. That's this month. That's this month. Yeah, that and month. that's thick. This month. Happy Father's Day, and I love you. Happy Father's Day. Remember this.
That was outstanding. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Matt, it was so funny putting this whole thing together because I walked up to Coach Chadwell before the meeting and I'm like, hey, you need to wear this mic. And he's like, what in the world is going on? But it ended up working out quite well. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm surprised more of the coaches weren't just bawling their eyes out during this thing. To hear your kids talk about you in that way it had to be meaningful for them. And this is going to be a video. Like, their families are going to save forever. You did a great job on it. Thank you so much. And don't, let, don't get it twisted. Chad Scott, strength and conditioning coach, he texted me after and said, I didn't have crying in the staff meeting on my bingo card today. So I think a lot of them were holding back. Well, switching gears to basketball. Former Flame Darius McGee is back in the headlines. And not just because he was our guest this week on the Flame Central podcast powered by Alcova Mortgage. McGee is heading overseas to play for Telecom Baskets Bonn in Germany. The guard previously spent a season with the Indiana Mad Ants, the G League affiliate of the Pacers, where in 22 games played, he averaged seven points. McGee had a historic career here at Liberty, the all-time leading scorer, three-point record holder. The list goes on and on. And when he joined our podcast, he talked about the impact Flames basketball continues to have on his life. Now that you're carrying that over into the professional life, what sticks out to you from what you really learned from Coach McKay and his staff at Liberty? I would say, like, don't take anything for granted. Like, be grateful for the opportunity. Be obedient, like, just in the little things, whether it be, like, a breathing cool down after a workout, like, literally being obedient and taking those three minutes and really locking in and, Focus on breathing. Don't let your mind wander in different things. Or working really hard. Don't forsake being in the gym. Like you get, you got there for working hard. Like don't take your foot off the gas. And just being the best person possible, especially off the court. Like the more you can become a better person, to help it'll help you in basketball. I've always believed that. I've always tried to hang my hat on that. Like if you can be good off the floor, you can be an even better basketball player. Always great catching up with the Liberty legend, Darius McBuckets, Mc3, D. McGee. Actually, Matt started a movement during our chat with Darius. He wants to see that number two jersey in the rafters. Put it in the rafters. It's past due. <laughs> Who do we call to make that happen? Remember, you can listen to this entire conversation on the Flame Central podcast, powered by Alcova Mortgage, Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, or hey, you can watch it on the Liberty Flames YouTube channel. Hey, a couple of softball notes this week we want to mention. First of all, Liberty finished ranked 25th in the final Softball America poll, 23rd in the D1 Softball poll. It's the third time in four years the Lady Flames have finished in the top 25. Additionally, outfielder Rachel Roop has been named to the Softball America top 100 players list. The all-conference junior was ranked as the 58th overall player in the nation and the 13th best outfielder. A great honor for one of the greatest players in program history. All right, need to step away, but when we return, we catch up with two former athletes who found much more than athletic success at Liberty. Plus, more Father's Day fun as we hit the dock with two Liberty head coaches who have some epic dad jokes to share. Don't go anywhere. Liberty University, we understand life can be unpredictable, and when you need a resilient career, your education should withstand any test. So we've made sure the degree you need is within reach by freezing one of the lowest tuition rates in the nation for eight years and counting, and giving scholarships, discounts, and credit for work you've already done. 
because we're proud of what you do. We've done this for over 30 years, and we know how to help. We're here to help you. Being a parent and helping your kids through school, it's not exactly easy. I mean, there's waking up at 5 a.m., the morning routine, helping with homework, sitting in traffic. You get it. What if there was a way you could get your kids a quality Christian education where they can work at any pace, any time, from anywhere? School that works for your schedule and frees your kids to keep doing what they love. Well, that's exactly what we do. LUOA, school that goes where you do. So you're looking for a university that's perfect for you, a school that has anything you could possibly need. Anything? You want a place that has the programs you want to study, and maybe a few more just in case you change your mind. I think I'm going to sign up for the fashion design program. All right. A place with state-of-the-art facilities. I mean, look at this campus. And who doesn't love big town sports? And great recreational activities. Okay, now we're on a roll. Somewhere you can hike, slide, strike, shoot, climb, eat, and most importantly, eat. You want a place that takes you to space? Okay, maybe not, but we can teach you how to fly, or pastor a church, or run a business. And all that with a great view? Yeah, I think I know a place. Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, the college experience is about a lot more than just going to class and writing papers. For many, it's a time of maturing, a time of growth. For former Liberty athletes Britt and Courtney Stone, their college experience saw them find success in their respective sports, find a deeper faith, and also find each other. In the hills of eastern Tennessee, near downtown Bristol, is where former Liberty athletes Britt and Courtney Stone call home. So you guys got big sound chairs. I'm glad the Lord purposed in His good will for us to be together because it's been an amazing journey together. A journey that for now rests in the hills of East Tennessee, but began on a mountain in central Virginia. I never really considered, you know, playing college football. I was more focused on the academics, but I began to continue to grow, have success. A lot of people were interested in, you know, wanting me to come and play football for them. Auburn, Samford, and Georgia Southern were just a few of the schools wooing Brit to their programs, but it wouldn't take long for Liberty to be his first choice. I knew when I got to Liberty that that's where I wanted to be. So I canceled all of my other visits and committed to Liberty on my first visit and said, this is, this is where God wants me to be. At the same time, Courtney and her parents would make the drive from her hometown of Bristol, Tennessee to Liberty's campus, ultimately to decide her own college future. I didn't really know that much about Liberty at the time. Just meeting the coaches, I knew that they saw me as not only a person that could play basketball, but they saw me as an individual, and they really wanted to grow me um, to be the best godly woman that I could be. I'm not going to lie, the first couple months was hard for me. I called my parents crying a couple times, and I really was like, I just don't know if I can do this. And my, my mom and dad were like, you said this is where you want to be. You've got to commit to it. Meanwhile, across campus, Injuries and adjusting to life as a college student had left Britt feeling lonely and depressed. I started to experience things that I'd never experienced before. Just a heaviness and, you know, kind of a cloud over things that, you know, things weren't quite working out. Obviously, I was raised in a Christian home. I knew what I was supposed to believe, you know, but that didn't really always match up with how I lived my life. Britt would set out to change all that. While in devoted communion with God, he would write down two life-changing words. I believe. I wrote down, I believe. And for the first time in my life, my faith became my own. It wasn't what, you know, I was supposed to, you know, believe or what I was supposed to say because I was at a Christian school or a Christian kid. It was Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And soon the heaviness and loneliness would start to subside. 
and a new relationship would be born. Britt and Courtney would begin a friendship that would later evolve into a serious courtship. Probably our junior year is when it really got serious that we said, okay, you know, maybe we need to start talking about what does life look like after Liberty? In their respective sports, Britt and Courtney would close out their time at Liberty with five Big South Conference championships split between them and a trip to the NCAA tournament. Liberty Flames have pulled off what many thought was impossible. Honestly, looking back, I'm just like, wow. Like, what a God moment. Second 13 seed to advance to the Sweet 16. Guys, if you look at the you know, winning the first Big South Championship in 07, then following it up in 08, winning 10 after losing 10, all of us were together, kind of went through the hard times. You know, a core group that had to start as freshmen, even though we weren't ready to play <laughs> Division One football yet, but we figured it out. And after graduating, Britt and Courtney would marry, start a family, and take positions as educators and coaches in the public school system in East Tennessee but they would begin to feel like God was leading them towards something new. And believed at the time, their next calling would be running an orphanage in Guatemala. But all that would change with one phone call. I was already in my mind settled, okay, we're gonna go to this orphanage. And then he's like, I got this call. From a Christian school, and they said, we'd like to talk with you about coming on as our principal. I had a conversation with them and immediately picked up on Nicole Courtney. I was like, this is it. This is it. We prayed about it for a couple days, really, you know, seek the Lord's face for what he really wanted us to do. And and we both looked at each other like, okay, maybe it is Christian education. We never thought that that's um, where the Lord was leading. Um, and now here we are. You know, sometimes we look back and we think, wow, what the Lord has done, it's far exceeds anything that we could have imagined. I was that Christian kid that was the preacher's kid that said all the right things and did all the right things, but didn't really walk with Jesus. Wasn't really committed to doing what Jesus wanted me to do until he quickened my heart there at Liberty University and, and changed my life. I'm very, very grateful for God's mercy and grace towards me. Oh, this one's good. When we won Big South. So here's Courtney, she's got three, and I've got two. We have to take one final time out, but don't go anywhere because we have a Father's Day feature you're going to love. Who has the best dad joke? More Flame Central on the other side of the break. Welcome to Liberty University's online programs, where living out your calling with integrity is what you train to do. And getting ready for the future doesn't mean missing out on the now. Because a university is more than buildings and books, and an education should set you free, not fence you in. Welcome to Liberty's global campus, where distance learning was pioneered and evolved into one of the top-ranked schools in the nation. We're protecting your budget, your time and your education isn't just a theory, it's our priority. Here, degrees in your field reflect industry demands and help you get ahead of the competition. Where college comes to you, but you can come to college too. Game day, homecoming, graduation day. Your school, your values, your experience, your choice. Welcome to Liberty University, where we train champions for Christ. At Liberty, we train champions for Christ. But what does that really mean? Does it mean having 180 conference titles, over 700 programs, and state-of-the-art facilities? No. Being a champion for Christ isn't just about being great. It's why we're great. We push harder, go farther, study longer, because we believe in one simple calling to change the world and share the love of Jesus. Welcome to Liberty University, where we train champions for Christ. God's calling for your life can be specific. And at Liberty, we are committed to equipping you to pursue that calling. Choose from more than 350 unique programs of study or design your own major through interdisciplinary studies and be confident your major is the perfect fit. 
No matter how specific your calling, you'll find a program of study to match at Liberty University and become your best as a champion for Christ. Awesome. Here comes a big push to the 24 and the inside lane. Come and on, William man. Byron comes off turn four to win. Welcome back to Flame Central. You know, Matt, there are many reasons to celebrate all the amazing fathers out there. That's true, but humor may or may not always be one of them. Despite that, when we heard that Liberty football coach Jamie Chadwell and basketball coach Richie McKay were known for their dad jokes around campus, we had to get them together. The result? Well, you be the judge. How does Moses make his coffee? He brews it. Did you know in my former life I used to be a singer? No. I made a song about a tortilla once. Now it's more like a rap. Who do mice pray to? Jesus. You know, one of my summer jobs, I worked at a, a canned juice company. They fired me. They said I couldn't concentrate. Mm, it's too bad. Well, I told my wife she should embrace her mistakes. So she gave me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> on Memorial Day, I was, I was walking on the beach and there was this guy yelling for help with a shark circling. I just laughed. That shark wasn't gonna help him. Yeah! Who's remembered all these men? <laughs> uh, you know, Coach Shadwell and I actually have a similar story. Really? I was fired from a job as well. I worked at a bank. An old lady asked me to check her balance, and so I shoved her. <laughs> Matt, what's a pirate's favorite letter? Uh, it's R. You it thought it'd be R, but it's really the C. Okay, well, that about <laughs> does it for the show this week. I don't know how we topped that. Hey, LibertyFlameCentral.com. Check it out for any stories you might have missed. Flame Central podcast every Monday. For Matt, I'm Emily. We'll see you right back here next week. <laughs>